Okay, flying class. Here we go. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. <laughs> Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, <laughs> Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. And you haven't, and if you haven't been over the lake, yeah, you always shouldn't ground now, yourself. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. This one. Okay. This is brilliant. Yes. Good. Wish I had my own broom. Excellent. Hey. Well it's done. Not going to now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I uh, went through like three hoops. Seriously. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Okay. 
I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I don't I'd think imagine you're seeing from those classes a bit properly. More challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We yeah, you are. probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. I I'm about Clop suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class. Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. In other words, you're not going to be The tour safe. is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh. <laughs> well, now that's... that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Almery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. in our brooms. Dismount here. Uh, how long I dismount? Well. Okay. And where have you two been? See, told you so. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Uh-huh. Yep. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Okay. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Perhaps. But we did get in trouble, and Kugawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. Of course she'd but see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a really? fancy model, you could fly laps could, around Imelda. better glasses. She's Kugawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Mm hmm. Yeah, well. Oh, 
Anyways. Assistance with a delivery, thought you might be interested. Okay, I can do that. More really interested in dog hearts ones, so I might skip him. But I guess I can go to him he has a delivery. Might as well. Still got a bit of the recording left. And that is a side quest I need to do anyway. But let's deliver his thing first, shall we? Might as well. Corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Oh, I've got another outpost. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. If she can brew herself, why in the world? Is she order it? Okay, so... Where do I go? Um, down here. Down here. So I just go further. That's fun. <laughs> okay, so Bavelia. anything around I can pluck? Me, <laughs> that's fun.
Madame Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Wow. Okay. Um... It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us have to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Hmm. A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Oops, 
this way. Oops. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. <laughs> 